Hello and welcome to Journeying with Jane. I'm here on the Yorkshire coast and it's a beautiful morning. The sea looks a lot calmer than it has done for the last few days. The waves are a lot flatter and people are not having to battle against the wind when they're out walking. Plenty of people out and about. There's somebody down there gathering something, I'm not sure what. Uh, there are two fishermen round the corner. Over on the horizon there's a tanker which will have just come out of Teesport um, heading to mainland Europe I'm guessing. I didn't check this morning to see what it could be. I'm circling back to two me messages I've posted previously. One was called By the Way of the Sea and the second was called No More Gloom and they had a focus on the Sea of Galilee. Um, but this isn't the Sea of Galilee in front of me. Um, but I just wanted to take in some of the scenery on, on this fantastic day. Um, I want to focus more on the area of Galilee and just the connection between Galilee and the life and ministry of Jesus. Um, in this festive season when we've just celebrated the birthday of Jesus, um, Galilee played an important part in the um, in the conception of Jesus because it was in Galilee where the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and the word Galilee comes from a Hebrew name meaning to reveal and it was there that the angel Gabriel sent by God he came and revealed to Mary that she would give birth to a son and he would become um, our Lord Jesus our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and of course nine months later that very event that miraculous event took place and we've just been celebrating that this season, the birthday of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. So it was in the area of Galilee where Mary was at the time when the angel Gabriel revealed that amazing word to her. Galilee was spoken of in Isaiah 9 and again there's a strong prophetic connection between Galilee and Jesus. And Isaiah chapter 9 says this, if I can hold my text without it blowing away. In the past he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honour Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. And he, in this verse, was our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And just as Isaiah foretold, that very thing came into being, that Jesus did indeed came and he did minister to those in Galilee. And Gal Galilee became an important place in the um, first public appearance of Jesus. And it was in it was in the early years of Jesus' ministry that he ministered in the land of Galilee. It was known as the land of the broken. And he was there, he'd been baptised in the River Jordan, and it was then that he stepped out onto the public stage. And thousands upon thousands of people must have come to him and just to be healed and touched and to be made whole again in every sense of the word. And that was just the beginning of what would be a three years of walking on earth, just meeting people from every walk of life and just touching lives beyond all recognition. As I said, Galilee was known as the land of the broken and broken lives were restored and that promise of healing, of restoration still holds true today. Friends, you might not believe in Jesus, Christmas might not have meant anything significant to you uh, over the last few days, but just be mindful of this, that Jesus is the only one who can bring hope in these perilous times. He's the only one who can give you a promise of life in heaven. So if you want to be rescued from a godless eternity then friends just turn around repent turn 180 degrees and turn towards God and accept him as your Lord and Saviour and for those of you that already know Jesus as Lord then just enjoy every moment of these days uh, we know that um, the world itself is becoming more and more broken but we are called to be light and to be salt and I pray that that's exactly what you will be over this uh, the remaining days of 2023. Thank you for watching, thank you for persevering with me uh, through my uh, many posts of the year and I will see you in 2024.